All the bride did was go, it's fine. Like, just let her do her thing. And I'm like, she's literally crying in a fetal position. I've been a bridesmaid about four times. So far, it's always a bridesmaid, never a bride. I've been a bridesmaid once uh, for my cousin's wedding. I wasn't a great bridesmaid, I'll be candid. I didn't do the best job. I have been a bridesmaid five times, and each bride has come with their own sets of difficulties and challenges, but at the end of the day, I'm just happy to be there for my friends. I have been a bridesmaid five times. Every single experience is completely different. My friend asked me to be a bridesmaid. I was so excited at the time. I was one of five bridesmaids the night of the bachelorette party. My friend really wanted wanted to do, go big. She just wanted to go crazy. So we just thought, you know what? Let's rent a hotel. Let's have a huge party. Let's get strippers. Ha, that was my idea. Let's get boy strippers, girl strippers for everybody. And we'll just have fun. We'll drink, we'll party and dance the night away. Everybody goes to the room. Everybody's taking shots and drinking. The bride is found somewhere in the corner drinking and just kind of swerving a little bit. So I kind of brought her back over to the party and was like, hey girl, come on over here, girl, get a lap dance. And I brought this really pretty dancer to come over to give her a lap dance. And I'm excited because I'm like, she's never even like had a girl dance on her or anything like that. That's more me. She's in the dance and she's enjoying herself and she's laughing and we're just joking around screaming. And they end up getting up and going into the separate room and we're like, what? So I guess she wanted a private dance. They're gone for like 25 minutes and I'm thinking, what in the hell is going on? So finally she comes back out. She looks all messy. Her eye makeup is smeared. She's like, hey guys, I'm not getting married. I'm gonna be a lesbian. She's like, yeah, I'm done. I just had a conversation and I realized that I'm just getting married for the wrong reasons. Here I am feeling so guilty. I was thinking what happened in that room <laughs> that made her decide that the wedding was off? So we're just like, calm down, it's fine. Like you're just, drinking and it's not really that serious. She's like, no, I'm serious, I'm leaving him. I was like, okay, we're just gonna roll with it because you can't argue with drunk people. Then she starts trying to make out with me and all of our friends. It gets real sloppy. Finally, we're like, just sit down, have some water. She's like, I don't want water. She's like knocking stuff out of people's hands. She's like, I feel sick. She runs to make it to the bathroom, but she doesn't make it to the bathroom. She literally throws up all over the floor in front of everybody. My other friends like, are getting sick. It's just a whole mess. I'm trying to help her get up and make it to the bathroom. And she's fighting me, like physically like resisting. It was so hellish to have somebody with throw up on them, like trying to like resist. It was disgusting. And finally she gets super tired. We lay her down, she falls asleep. Thank God, we have to clean up the whole place. And then when she wakes up in the morning, she remembers absolutely nothing. I was so mad at her, but I couldn't be mad at her. She didn't remember. The wedding was beautiful. We all kept looking at each other like, Hi, you don't know what happened last night. So my cousin asked me to be a bridesmaid for her wedding and I was super excited. She made it crazy easy for us. She was like, all you have to do is go and pick up this dress I picked out, get it hemmed and buy like nude heels. So I go to David's bridal, I do the first thing, you know? And so I walked up and I figured I would go schedule a time. I was told that's what you do, you schedule a time. But I go in and the lady's like, you know what, we can fit you in now. And like she grabs me and she yanks me to the back and like, I'm not ready, I'm not wearing deodorant. She like shoves me into a changing room and she's like measuring me. And she asks me, what are you gonna weigh next to you? And no one's ever asked me that in my whole, what am I gonna weigh next? I don't know. I felt like I was being lightly bullied by this woman, but she also got everything done real fast. It was easy. I picked up my dress in a week. I went out, I bought nude heels. I also don't like nude heels very much because I don't understand why you want a shoe that looks like you're not wearing shoes, like a flesh shoe. Took the dress and heels and I treated them like Harry Potter. I shoved them in the closet until they presented a problem. The wedding came around and we go to this beautiful, gorgeous winery and I go to do the rehearsal the first thing. And I'm like, I'm gonna kill it. I see the aisle, it's only 20 feet, I had three steps to walk up to the altar, and then we stand there and we walk back. Next day is the wedding. Uh, we go to this gorgeous balcony to get ready. They're playing music and drinking champagne. Everyone starts slipping on their dresses and I put mine on and I realize I never got my dress hemmed. I was gonna ask uh, my grandma to hem it, but she was at the res. And then she came back and I'd just forgotten because it was in my closet for seven months. Just didn't look at it. And then the wedding came and I just took it out, popped it in my car and left. Didn't even check it. I'm looking around at the other girls and all their dresses are falling right at their ankles. And I'm looking down and I've got like two inches of fabric on the ground and you can't see my heels and I can't walk. Like I'm trying not to step on the dress because I don't want to rip it and I also don't want to fall. And people are starting to notice and they're like, what's up Sienna? I decide I'm gonna lie. And I'm like, oh yes, the 
dress hammer person, they must have hemmed it in a weird, different, weird way. It's not my fault. And they don't care that much, so they go back to putting on makeup and whatever. And I'm like, you know what? There's not that much walking at a wedding. I think I can do this. But at the chapel, I realized I'm not gonna kill it. The 20 feet looks 20 feet longer. The steps now present a legitimate problem. I'm really worried. I need to not be a distraction. People are supposed to whisper to each other when the wedding starts and they see the bride. They're supposed to whisper about her and be like, oh, she's so beautiful. They're not supposed to go, oh, I didn't know Sienna was stabbed shortly before the wedding. And now she's limping down the aisle. So we walk down the aisle and I'm, I'm clinging to the groomsmen and I'm like little steps at a time, trying not to trip, trying not to tear my dress. And so we get down to the aisle and we go up the steps and I'm like, oh, thank God I'm doing it, I'm doing it. And I stand on the altar, that's easy, that's chill. My cousin gets married. Next step, we have to go back out the church. And I grab onto the groomsmen and we go down the stairs and I hear that my heel go through the chiffon in the back and tear it. And I'm like, oh so close, but no one notices. And I kind of discreetly like unloop the dress from my heel. We have to go to the reception. That's the last thing I have to walk into. We walk in, I'm like, I just have to make it to the table. I killed it, I did it. So I take off my heels and I tie the front of my dress into a big knot and I'm dancing away. I don't even care that the dress is riding up and the knot looks a lot like a penis. I'm having a good time and I still have the dress. I still got it. Here's the knot I can't get out. And as you dance around, it kind of just like flaccidly like flops around. I've been lying about this for like a year and I'm really glad to get it off my chest. Sorry. My friend asked me to be a bridesmaid. Now this particular friend of mine is someone who has very great taste, but also very extravagant taste. So I remember being very nervous when we went shopping for the dress because I just kept thinking, oh gosh, I hope she doesn't pick something that is way out of my price range. We were trying on dresses that were several hundred dollars and it was mainly because she wanted very ornate details on the dress. So beaded bodices, something that looked very regal, very princess-like. And then a few of the other bridesmaids started being vocal. The bride ended up doing a lot of research and found a dress from China, which we all ordered. We were all very unsure on how the sizing was gonna work out. And we ordered them about eight to 10 months before the wedding, during which I ended up losing quite a bit of weight. When the dress arrived, it was quite beautiful. It did have a lot of attention to detail up at the top, a lot of beading, a lot of intricate design, and then a nice glowy skirt. But because of sizing issues, my dress did not fit whatsoever. As soon as I zipped it up, the top part of the dress immediately dropped down to my waist. Not really the show-stopping moment that you're looking for at a wedding. Now I wanted to get the dress to fit. I only had a window of about three weeks to try to get this dress worked on. The main problem that I had when I went to a tailor is the tailor did not believe that my strapless bra was a great fit for that dress. I wasn't willing to go get another bra just to please this tailor and the tailor wasn't willing to alter it. The last thing I wanted was for the dress to be falling down as I was walking down the aisle. Luckily though, I found a whole lot of safety pins and a whole lot of help to get the dress to stay up. Now on the day of the wedding, I felt absolutely terrified because I was so scared that some of the safety pins were gonna pop out. It was so tricky to try to hide the safety pins because the last thing I wanted either was to be walking down the aisle and then have people notice this artwork of safety pins on the back of my dress. So I had to try to be really creative and hide them on the inside, which also made for a very uncomfortable situation anytime that I sat down because I would have them pressing in to my skin. So I was just uncomfortable the whole day and just so scared of a wardrobe malfunction. When I look back at the pictures from the wedding, I get a little embarrassed because especially pictures from the side, you can see quite a, quite a gap in between where the bodice of the dress is and where my body is. Now, at Aside from the dress, this was the most incredible wedding that I have ever been a part of. It was truly just magical and a dream come true and everything that the bride wanted. A few years ago, one of my best friends asked me to be a bridesmaid. It was lovely and wonderful until wedding weekend started. She had also asked one of her childhood friends that she wasn't particularly still close with to be part of the wedding because, you know, it's your childhood friend. You want them up there with you. I had never met her the night of the rehearsal dinner. We're crafting, we're getting things together, we're gluing these flowers. She has a full-blown 
meltdown. I'm talking crying in a fetal position on the floor. We had no idea what was going on. I had never met this girl. So I was like, I don't know, what do I do? Do I defuse the situation? Do I go talk to her? All the bride did was go, it's fine. Like just let her do her thing. And I'm like, she's literally crying in a fetal position. She was fine. She calmed down. We had our dinner, thought everything was okay. All the bridesmaids and I are hanging out and with the bride and we actually find out she hadn't gotten um, any place to stay. She just assumed she would stay with the bride. She didn't get an Airbnb, she didn't get a hotel, she didn't clear it with anybody else that she knew. She just assumed like that she would just stay with the bride and groom. So one of the other girls stepped up and said, it's fine, you could crash on my couch. But like, what was she gonna do the night of the wedding? So the next day, we find out that that night, she had texted the groom who she'd only met that day and told him, you're marrying both of us and we're a pair and you know, if you do this to her, you're also doing it to me and I'm gonna be your wife too because you're marrying both of us. It's this whole thing. Luckily, he was easy going enough to go, I don't know, I just got this text. It was super weird, whatever. We'll go about our day. We're all getting ready and again, a full blown meltdown about I don't know what, just screaming and crying threatening to leave, packing her bag, slamming doors, just like, you know, grabbing everything. She's just chaos and just throwing things and yelling. And finally, the bride had had it. She said, you know what? I'm not gonna do this anymore. Half hour before she's gonna start, she takes the bridesmaid aside. She's in her full, expensive, beautiful ball gown. The bridesmaid is in her long, pretty bridesmaid dress and she's just letting her have it. And we see her in like the other room and we're kind of like trying to peek and like look. And like, she's just going like this and like talking to her and getting in her face. And the bridesmaid's just crying. And she's like yelling at her too. And they're both yelling at each other. A half hour before the ceremony, when this is supposed to be nice, we're getting ready. Oh, we're gonna take pictures of your mom, putting your veil on. And then the girl runs off. We don't know where she went. The bride came in and she said, you know what, I'm over it. I'm good, I'm not gonna deal with this. I'm not gonna let it ruin my day. Luckily, one of the very lovely groomsmen wrangled her, brought her back inside. I don't know what he said, but he calmed her down a little bit. Now she wants a full face of makeup. Now she wants all of her long Rapunzel hair curled in these tight little curls. So the poor hair and makeup girls are like, I, I guess we have like 15 minutes. She took all the time. We couldn't retouch the bride. The ceremony happens. It's very lovely, very beautiful. We all cry. It's great. We think, you know what? It's past. It's fine. No. We go outside to do pictures. She would not stop smoking. Like there was just cigarettes constantly. We're like, you need to put that down. Her grandma's in these pictures. You can't be chain smoking in these pictures. Just for two seconds, just hand it off to somebody. Refuse to do that. Convince her to pawn off her cigarette while she's taking pictures. We figure, okay, maybe she's gonna calm down because we're about to go to the reception where she's gonna eat. She's gonna get some protein. She's gonna get a cocktail in her. Maybe she's gonna calm down. She got about 10 cocktails in her. She did end up stealing a centerpiece and throwing up everywhere. It was a very eventful wedding weekend to say the least.